Keep everybody, when they talk about you, and you're a veteran, you're a veteran, he comes in, he's just a veteran, but how hard is it to come in like you have and knock down shots like that? Uh, it's not It's not really that hard. Uh, when you stay prepared like I do, um, it's something normal. I mean, we, we, I get to work in every day. Um, you know, obviously, you know, everybody wants to play every game, but it just doesn't work like that. So with this type of team, long season, you know, everybody's going to get the opportunity. Coach Kidd said that in the beginning of the year. So it's just, you know, staying ready, you know, making shots and, you know, doing all the small stuff when my number called. Take us through what you saw on that pass, the lob dunk to uh, to Jones that put you guys up nine without a minute to go. Uh, Aiden stepped up. It's an easy game. Uh, you know, you got two people on Luca. Um, I know when I came up, there was two on the right side, and if Aiden came up, then if D Jones cut, he would have been wide open. If he would, if he would have stayed, he would have been wide open. It was either way. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. When Luca has it going the way he has it going tonight, he had thirty points triple double before the third quarter was over. Just explain what's going on in your mind when you're seeing that, how special this guy is. Man, um, I played with some great players, but when I tell you um, the game is just so easy to him. Like, I've never seen nobody, like, damn near walk through the game. Um, he plays the same way in practice. It's, it's his skill. Uh, yeah, man, he's – I don't see why he's not in the number one in the running for MVP. I just don't, I don't get it because he's, he's doing it. He's carrying our team, you know, scoring, rebound, assists on, on a nightly basis. Um, the face you made when you looked at the box, was that you looking at Lucas' stat line right there? Nope. I, don't, I know his stat line, Chris. <laughs> <laughs> I, don't, I don't need to look at that. I was looking at my plus minus. I thought maybe I, I was a little bit higher uh, in the plus minus box. But, uh, you know, every time I look at Luca, I already know. <laughs> I just watched it for 40 minutes. I don't, I don't need to. 48 minutes, I don't need to check the box score. What's your plus minus? It was eight. I thought it, was a, I thought it would be a little higher, but you know, it is what it is. It's fun to watch uh, the bench during the games because you guys really get into it. What do you think has kind of set the tone for that kind of atmosphere? Um, I think myself, man. Um, you know, first and foremost, uh, I'm the team leader when it comes to locker room, when it comes to, you know, just bringing the guys together. So um, I know how big that is, having energy come from the bench, especially uh, when a night like this, uh, when the, the crowd is not really a lot of people there and uh, we need to find energy. Um, and then when the young guys come up from the G League, those guys come with a lot of energy. AJ, Dennis, uh, Greg, they bring a lot of energy and it's fun when you, you know, when it's like that. Yeah, you guys have the best uh, road record in the NBA. Do you think that's part of the reason? Uh, uh, the, yeah. the, the support from the bench. Oh, for sure. Um, yeah, and Luca, but yeah, I think, man, <laughs> for sure he plays he plays great on the road. Like, uh, but yeah, for sure, man. Um, we just had to stick together. You know, there's gonna be ups and downs, um, slow starts, fast starts. We just gotta stick together and just uh, enjoy the game. Uh, Coach Kid mentioned you guys are continuing to figure out how to attack those four on three situations. You know, today you had a lot of success as the short roller, but as a team overall, what have you seen as you guys continue to improve in those areas? Um, we're seeing it every game. So um, it's like, you know, you're giving us a chance. It's like repeatedly happening over. Um, but uh, for me, I try to teach like, you know, like lively, like the younger guys, it's like, you know, taking a picture before you get in that, that spot. Like I said, when he asked me about the lob, uh, when I came up, I already knew it was two on the left side. So it's one on one on both sides. So I'm just trying to get that picture. And then just having guys be more aggressive in the middle. Um, we tend to look for Luca a lot, even when we catch him and we open. Um, so we're trying to preach this, you know, you know, Luca got the ball 50 times a game, if not more. Uh, so when you get an opportunity in the middle, go make a play or go score the basketball. Keith, I asked um, Jared Dudley at halftime if he was worried just where the offensive production was going to come. And he said, no, we got Luca." Yeah, 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 yeah. Is that kind of the yeah, mentality? That's all you need. I mean, last game um, when we played against Minnesota, we missed a lot of shots that we don't normally miss. And, uh, that was the reason why we lost that game. I thought we, we played really well. I thought we played hard. We played great defense on Hank Edwards and, um, and Cat, but we missed a lot of those shots. Uh, same shots today, we make them, you see the outcome. So, um, uh, Luca, you know, 40, 10, and 12. And, you know, the game is easy when you got a guy like that. That's what I always say, you know, get in the gym, watch film, watch, watch, just watch Luca and what he does, like his tendencies, and, you know, you'll be able to contribute at all times. That's how I do it. I just watch him. Mm -hmm. You swing into the corner, find the corner, you get all the shots you want.
And he came in here with the game ball. Yeah, yeah. He deserved it, right? He deserved it, right? <laughs> <laughs> All right. Appreciate it. Thanks a lot. Thank you.